Take a close look at this bizarre letter. The original was obviously cut from a magazine, and it's pretty creepy. It's threatening an informant who's about to testify. Police now say they think it's connected to the Angela Hammond case, and the wrong woman was kidnapped. On April 4th, 1991, Angela Hammond pulled over to call her boyfriend from a payphone. It was dark. She noticed a creepy car. It passed by and eventually pulled over. Angela told her boyfriend all about it. And then she screamed. Rob Schaefer drove to the old food barn and chased what he believed might be the abductor's vehicle. But it was dark. He was frantic and his transmission gave out. Angela vanished. A lot has changed. What happened to Angela is the biggest mystery Clinton police have never solved. I think I was in shock for several days. Um, it took a while to process that, that that could even happen in a small town like this. That's not something that anybody would have ever thought about happening in Clinton, Missouri. The kidnapping baffled Angela's mother and to everyone who's tried to make sense of it. Why was she targeted? You know, you just don't have any closure. You don't have any, you just don't know what happened. And it's always the what ifs that bother you. Those are a couple police cars. Police recreated the scene. Help poured in from neighboring counties. Where these vehicles might have been parked. Old photos have faded because the case is so old. There's your phone booth there. It was a case with few leads and really no motive. We recently spent the day in Clinton reviewing the case file. He did the best that he could do. And visiting the old scene. No cell phones, no security cameras. Yeah. That's why she's using a phone booth. That's because police have a new theory. The wrong Angela may have been snatched. It was a case of mistaken identity. Pretty incredible. Police say the new lead comes from the original police file. It was ignored because police couldn't connect it to the mysterious green truck. An informant in another case turned over this bizarre letter explaining he was being threatened and his wife and daughter had moved to Clinton, Missouri. It was postmarked the exact date that our Angela was stolen. That was hard to ignore. Did your Angela look like the other Angela? There were very, there were striking similarities very much so. There have been numerous theories over the years, but police are certain of two things. First, that Angela was abducted by a stranger. And secondly, that her boyfriend played no role. He had a rock solid alibi. He's passed numerous polygraphs and he's always cooperated with police over these decades. Different theories have floated around about what could have happened that night as internet sleuths try to make the pieces fit. Police have been exploring the mistaken case of identity theory for years, originally only revealing it to Angela's mother. It makes sense. The, you know, a lot of coincidences, but it, but it does make sense. They decided to go public with it for anyone who has information. They hope a recent tipster calls them back. Boy, we would sure like to talk to that person. That tipster left the chief a message echoing their theory. And that person specifically named that one name that we had have uh, investigated before. It's fresh hope for investigators who say cold cases are never forgotten. Angela belonged to us. She belonged to Clinton. I've never given up hope. And for Angela's family, who simply wants to find her body and bury her and her unborn child. I just hope if anybody's out there, they would, if they know anything, that they would come forward. If you have any details, contact Clinton Police directly. We have that information on our webpage. Police say you can remain anonymous. They just want the leads. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.